Today, we're headed to a place that many Midwest parents are very familiar with. We are headed to Wisconsin Dells. This very popular tourist destination is well known for its sandstone formations along the banks of the Wisconsin River. To help other families decide what to do here, we are ranking every place we visited during our two-day stay here. So, let's go! Welcome back, Rockets Crew. You have Carl here. If you're not familiar with our channel, we're a family travel vlog. We love to go to local spots, tourist attractions, and weird and wacky places. We are here at Wisconsin Dells. I'm here to show you one of the world's largest. This is the world's largest flamingo. So the flamingo right here in Flamingo Matala has been here since the 1990s. It's really remained unchanged. And folks ask, is it really the world's largest? Well, the Rand McNally says it is the world's largest, so. The next one on our list is the tourist trap of all tourist traps. Top secret. Why are all these robots around? They said in 2002 that the White House landed upside down here to cover the tracks. They decided to make it a tourist attraction. Previously, there was a tour guide that took you around this monstrosity of craziness. And now it's a self-guided tour. And you're trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Beyond all this cheesiness, it's a great place to take a lot of great photos. This is pretty cool. Why is everything upside down looking? What a big cheap go-kart? Uh, I don't think you can go to Wisconsin Dells without going go-karting. All right, I'm all set. Look at this. This is Rosalie's first time go-karting. If you guys don't know, Rosalie is the adventure seeker of the family. So while you're here in Wisconsin Dells, stop at the Grateful Shed. So it's like indoor food trucks, the little station. That's how it's kind of set up. Look at the bar. It's made out of VHS tapes. No way. After cooling off with ice cream, you really need to check out all the artwork that they have here. There's a lot of different photo spots. They even set up ring lights and place where you can take all these cool, funky photos. And get this, the cars that are decorations, you can actually go and eat there. We are one of my favorite things to do here at Wisconsin Dells. Look at this. It's the Rick Wilcox Magic Show. As most of you know, I do do magic, but I do more uh, close-up uh, David Blaine type of magic. So this stage magic, I think is as good as like Lance Burden. So if you're here at Wisconsin Dells, you gotta check it out. We got the tickets the day of, and we were worried we were gonna get bad seats. And then this happened. Hey, Rosalie, are you ready for the magic show? Look at this. We are gonna be in the front row. At first, we were a little worried that we were gonna get called on during the magic show, but being in the front row was great because right after the show, we got to meet Rick Wilcox and his assistant, and they're a nice can be. So, right now we're at Musja. It's one of the coolest places that, to come here, and their pizza is amazing. I found Addison's next car when she can start driving next year. <laughs> can you imagine if Addison driving this? Yes, Addison, this is your next car. I gotta see how much this thing costs. When you're here, there's really an outdoor feel to it. And best of all, you get a nice little moose jaw hat. This pizzeria is open late. And best of all, I'm gonna have to say, they have the best thin crust pizza in all of Wisconsin Dells. If you're here in Wisconsin Dells, there's only one thing you can do. You gotta check out the Wisconsin Ducks. My childhood, we came here all the time, even with Addison. Now little Rosie gonna experience this. What's cool about it? It's a land and sea tour. In 1946, the world first duck tour was launched here in Wisconsin Dells. This tour takes you through a scenic wilderness trail, and then you splash into the Wisconsin River and also Lake Dalton. Uh oh. oh. We 
are at Wisconsin Dells. We're about to check out Great Wolf Lodge. We're gonna check out this amazing water park. It's really great for kids. Let's go. The one thing that stands out about Great Wolf Lodge is they really cater to the grade school kids. Even outside the water park, there was a lot of things for kids to do, such as building our own stuffed animal, having a dance party, and one of our favorites was going to the arcade. Now look at this, I felt like Steph Curry hitting the threes right here. While the Lazy River was fun, Rosalie loved the wave pool. We came back several times, but of course, Daddy had to play also. Woo! Ah! Make sure to subscribe! If we missed any must-do attraction, put in the comments down below. And right here in the end card link, here's another adventure that you might want to go to with your family.